Yo, so right now we're on day two of the Vortex supercharging install. Just a quick little update. We have the flex fuel kit installed onto the FRS. It's kind of hard to see, there's a lot of shadows, but flex fuel kit, we have it routed. Uh, not really nicely yet. We have the Bluetooth box right here. Now we're moving on to the fuel injectors. We actually already did the passenger side, which is super easy. Uh, there's much more room. Uh, basically what we had to do is move the ECU out of the way, take the injector cover off, and pretty much just replace these two fuel injectors, one right there, the other one right here. Actually gonna get started on the driver's side right now. There's two bolts we gotta remove, two 12 mils. One right there, one right here. Uh, they're kinda hard to reach with a socket. It's easier if you first disconnect the injectors or the wires to the injectors. Disconnect it first and then that'll let you get access to that bolt under there. I should probably put some gloves. Yes. Yeah. The injector. O ring, O ring. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. It's alright, it's alright. <laughs> oh. oh, go, where'd you go? Soaked. install this brand new fuel pump. Then after that, we can go ahead and flash the car over with the Eggy Tech. For the fuel pump, gotta get in the back seat. I guess just lift this up. I think it's bending. Oh. Okay, um. Dude, oh. this is sharp too. I know. Yep, yep. Just a little there's, bit. There's like a little. I think because your car's been sitting for a bit. Wait, wait, give it, give it, give it. do this whole fuel pump I was following the actual company's instruction manual on their website so it was kind of like a little bit tricky but we made it happen we literally have like a full tank of all the times probably I know right I'm good I'm good I guess right now we are, what, what is it called? Priming the fuel Priming system. the fuel. Optimus priming the fuel system. Optimus, <laughs> sounds like a robot. Do you guys oh. hear that? Huh? <laughs> sounds so cool. All right, I think I did like 10. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. They use the attack as like percentages. So it's gonna go all the way to freaking it's gonna it starts off flashing <laughs> to the too. end. Right when it hits nine, it's gonna like auto start your car. <laughs> Just fingers crossed, his battery doesn't die. If it dies, your your ECU is bricked. What? what? You <laughs> always gotta tell me the worst I thing. Know. That the oh, this my dash is going crazy. <laughs> The supercharger wine is crazy. Oh, good. Everything looks great. That's crazy. We got the Did that, bro. Down.
Did not shit. Oh, oh, I hit my head on the glass. Oh shoot. Dude. Oh, no. I just want gas. Oh shit. Kai. Dude, what? Is Kai. <laughs> yes. Sir. Are you gonna put the seat up? Here. <laughs> you know what? Why did I just know something was gonna happen? My, like it, it was started cutting off, like the gas. Yeah. Bro! Injectors? So on the thing, it's saying system to lean injector circuit open, cylinder one. It's all part of the plan. It's all part of the process. Freaking Kai left me in the car. I'm sorry. I was like, <laughs> open the hood. I thought there was a fire or some shit. I, if there was a fire and you left me in the car, it would have been worse. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh, I smell gas. Yeah. Dude, I think it did. Look. Look. Look at the spacing. Look at this right here. Versus that one. That must be that it. That one is sinking in more. That must be it. It happens, bro. We did a lot of sh All right, so it's on my on the app. It's saying injector one is open injector circuit. one. Yeah, something open circuit. And we just <laughs> noticed this spacer right here in the it's engine a, bay. That's the O-ring, right, for the injector? Yes. Because I <laughs> noticed right here that is sitting more like it's like sitting oh, closer yeah. to the metal than this right here. It must have fell off when I was putting it in there. Oh, dude. Luckily, that didn't fall off. Cause dude, like when I was looking, I was like, man, that looks weird. Dude, luckily that didn't like fall off on the road. All right, so we just ran home. Luckily, we were like up the street from my house. So like not even like a few minutes. We literally just were on a test drive. And um, yeah, I don't even know if like I, I even mentioned like what had happened, but we we're literally like going downhill. It was with him. And then Kai, he's actually with my car right now. So we're going downhill. Everything seemed to be fine, but when I, when I kind of like revved it over 3,000 RPMs, uh, the car kind of like cut off a little bit. Like it just sounded like it was misfiring. So like, okay, maybe like the tune is just still getting like used to the car um, because the, the pedal still felt like dead a little bit. Um, so we just kept going, and then I tried downshifting a few times. And then it started getting really bad. Like the car started like really misfiring whenever I revved, if that's even the correct term, I'm not sure. But yeah, so I did it. So like on the second time, my car started like smoking like really, really bad. And we were like freaking out. Like, I don't know, <laughs> it was just like really weird. Like it started smoking, so I just pulled over right away. Um, and then luckily I downloaded the app on my phone, like the Ecutech app, so we can literally see the codes um, and what's wrong so we just ran through real quick and it said injector one circuit open and then it was running too lean um, so we just like popped the hood real quick and then I don't know I just noticed like in this little area where the injectors are there's just there's just like washer like this rubber washer sitting in it and it was just so weird I was like wait I think that is one of the washers that go on the injectors and then I was looking at the injectors and one injector looked like it was sitting more it was like sitting more in versus the other one was like sticking out a little bit which is normal um or the one sticking out is normal um so the spacing was like off between the two so like okay that one that's definitely not right i feel like that spacer is supposed to be there so i think when i was putting the injectors on it must have like fell off dude, that was crazy man dude i thought i was gonna die i was in <laughs> i was in the back seat and there was freaking gas vapor and i was like 
It was smoking Stop. so much. I was like, dude, is it on fire? Like, it was crazy. I was sitting in the back seat. There's no like, there's no lever to move the seat forward from the back. So <laughs> I was stuck in the back and Kai just left me in the car. And he cared more about the supercharger than you. <laughs> oh my god. He just dipped. Mention this thing here. Do add a little bit of grease. It goes at the bottom. It, dude, it fell. We all make mistakes. We're all human. Ready? Yeah. What was that? The other injector. Oh my god. So the, I literally forgot to put this black washer on. So this was what we found on the, in the little area over here. Hey, the cool thing about this though, we're gonna remember this for the rest of our <laughs> This moment. The time. Right so we got the injectors in, back in. So it's still, it's still not starting, and we notice there's a freaking puddle of fuel, I'm assuming. So I don't know, I literally just don't know. But we're taking it apart right here. So there's like a wire that connects the injector to the fuel rail. It's like a long wire adapter. For some reason on the website it says those fail. So they supply these four connectors, which I remember seeing, and I didn't know what it goes, and I don't know what it's for. Those are like replacements for that long wire, and the wires tend to fail, so that's why they give us those. Which I don't know why they supply the wires in the first place if they fail a lot, so that's like literally the last option right now. Like, But if it doesn't start with all those four connectors on, the hard connectors, then I don't know what it is, literally. And I'm gonna have to tow the car, but... <laughs> Gosh, I'm so sorry for making it. Like, I feel so bad for like making you drive back and forth. Like, oh my gosh. So this is the connect, the hard connectors that they re recommend to use instead of instead of these super long wires right here. So this is the fuel rail all the way down to the injector. I'm literally hoping that these fix it. If not, like I I just don't know what it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. So it's better. I replaced these two right here. It never did that before. So I only replaced the two connectors on that side. That was better though. That was better. It, it just cut off before. So just, I think it's because I don't have the connectors on this side. Come on. Still. All over the place. Yeah. What is going on? All over there. Oh my Why? gosh. Did we do it why yeah, did that? Why could, did what? that happen before this was on? Oh, oh gosh. So it's been like an hour later, and we're just like troubleshooting, and it's cranking, but it doesn't want to just. It just doesn't want to start. Better than before, but it just doesn't want to like turn over. I don't know. Like I just don't know. Like I don't. This is not what I wanted after the install. Like I literally cannot believe this. Like this was literally like I, I just didn't want this to happen. I don't know. This is what happens when you mess with the motor. We're just gonna let it roll into like one of these neighborhoods right here. I tried calling the tow truck, but it seems to not connect to any providers right now. They're probably closed. I'm assuming, but uh, literally the worst. We're just gonna leave it here for now, and I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out.